They have all the tools that they need. They have double poke, they have frontline, they have executing damage, they have some sort of sustain, especially coming in from the Alistar as well. They can go in, they can go out. Tracy Esports has that as well, but they really Engage. need it. But yeah. Lisa will walk away for now. And will deny that follow up by here on the kill. Did see Lisa oh. actually on the ward recalling, so he was able to follow him up on the ignite. To cancel the recall, Oof. then go. It's gonna it's gonna force Trace Esports to take a safer approach as the objective does spawn up. Harold is being taken here by OMG. Keep fighting. Did it dive? It is Wawa that is just interrupting the Oh, White Cat. He's also there. There's a Parage not gonna be connecting onto Juju, but Wawa is in a bad spot. Juju! It's gonna be taken out. Mike is gonna be here, and Wawa still able to stall for so long. Sleepy Tumble Bubble, the dragon's still gonna be taken here by Trace Esports. Luckily for them, they need to disengage though. Wyka continues on the fray, still dealing the damage. OMG getting the kills, and no trades at all. They go in, oh. and Indian helps out as well. Just five kills. That's basically a yeah, Black Cleaver picked up. I don't think he will ever need a Hull Breaker, but oh no. This is so bad here for Yoza. Fortunately, so the Hecat is gonna be there with the Onslaught Shadow as well. Bob is the only one left, but still is very tanky, of course, with the Unbreakable Will. That's another kill that Trace Esports has gotten. They can trade. Well, Hueba was already in position, but Lisa might be in danger. Oh! One paddle start. Dominus is gonna be popped, but not enough to save himself. But the sword is dropped from White Cat. Yeah, sword has been dropped. The answer for OMG on the other side of the map is to get. How you this deal a lot of damage, but looking at the engage as well from Chase Eastworth, they have a lot of tools that can counter a uh, prolonged siege. I mean, just one fight, one engage can turn it around. 15 this time around is going to be the victim and taken out immediately. That's a, that's a great CC chain there coming from Trace Esports. Especially that SMK is going to be in a bad spot this time around. And it tries to capitalize, tries to fight back, but unable to get the, the kills here towards Trace Esports. Is forced to flash away as well. And again, we just talked about it. They're still being fearless. Now starting this Baron. But that fearless can be oh, wow, wow. if they don't make anything here. Paper That's Zelti. a great knock up once again here after the Quickens into the ground entrance here by Tak still. Are they going to be pursuing Ooh. the Ocelot Shadows? Or just perfect! In and doing the damage, White Cat going to be backing away as SMK is desperately trying to get the pokes here to the members of Trace Esports. But again, it's just going to be denied! More kills again by Trace Esports, four of which they have secured, and the Baron's gonna be on the table. Yeah, it's gonna be the Baron here for Trace Esports, it's only the Garen alive. White Cat is the only one alive by the side of OMG. And Trace Esports, what a great turnaround. You saw right there, Hueba was trying to run into the fight. He got CP trouble bubbled early on, but when now it's a 1k gold lead for Trace Esports. It's gone, and White Cat getting a catch here. Uh, just trying to get some leverage here, but it's taking too much time, finally. Sword is gonna be dropped, but at what cost? It's a dragon for Tracy Sports. Yeah, I think right now that is the best trade that OMG oh, be for Salty. Dominus, slice and dice, and the flash as well, just to close in the distance. And now Tak is also gonna be here with a quickness and all those gap flows. Indian in a bad spot. Just in time for the Elder Dragon. It's a nightmare of situation here for OMG, but they will still pursue. Just going in again, Tak and Juju are a kind of low. Let's see if OMG can actually take them down. The answer is no. Yosa is still able to stay alive after everything thrown out. Yeah. Space is gone for SMK. No jungler as this Elder Drake spawns into the map. Tracy is versus forcing the issue. They want OMG to come to them. And they will allow them to just enter. Yosa is just having the damage being thrown at. Tak going in with the quickness as well. Seri just being able to free it. And now OMG is going to be in a bad spot right now. Flash is going to be used by the guy to try and stay alive. Bob as well trying to run for the high heels. But they just clump up together to take White Cat down. You may be tanky, but with everyone there, we can just take you out. Yeah. It's going to be Hua Hua, only one left. Inyan will be spawning back into the map. Elder Drake has not been secured yet. They will be going back for this objective here Gia, and Trace Esports in a commanding lead at this point even the bot side right now looking at the map members of Trace Esports will be able to back off from the Alistar and the Shin Zhao but this Elder Drake and this Baron will surely be gone it's just perfectly timed for Trace Gee, Esports they do know where it's being taken know. down right now it was a little bit slow. Wawa's gonna go in. Tak is gonna be there with a the quickness, of course, to interrupt everyone! Mm -hmm. And the turn around is gonna be here for Trace Esports. Going towards the backside already is Breach. And SMK is just trying to run for the high heels, trying to disengage, but they're being just chased out here with the members of Trace Esports. Easily closing the distance. And SMK is running towards the other side. Blastion is gonna help him, but only to delay the inevitable. Or. 
Oh. Lisa's gonna be used to my some time. Waiba's still gonna be fine. Yosa and Lisa are just gonna be called off uh, to yeah. tag along. They turn onto the Baron once again and face esports are happy with this one. Yeah. SMK is still in a good position to poke, but he is like half down below. <gasps> can they? Can actually go with no. He can. Doesn't have the flash. Unfortunately, he's right now with Trace Esports still pursuing the members here of OMG. Lisa was well handling Wildcat this time and having a better end because it's all the mid to late game. 21 minutes and Trace Esports now bashing through the base here of OMG, forcing them to just go back into the fountain. The lasers are gonna come through. Inhibitor Tower is gonna be taken down. Lisa still pursuing, still, still taking the damage necessary for the team as well. As Dominus will be going back in. Wave as well. So Parash not connecting onto anyone. The base is wide open and OMG. He had a good run in the early game, but Trace Esports will get the game. Yeah, Trace Esports able to turn things around with a couple of great plays, a couple of great moves, punishing the mistakes coming from OMG. And they're able to turn things around. Takes game one of this best of three series. It's gonna be picked out here for Lisa, which is just so much better in terms of the matchup because one counter strike can cancel out so much of the damage here. Of White Cat on the Renekton and at least deny some of the damage that will be sad time for them and especially those that are supporting them. Game. They have won game number one flawlessly as well. Just st stuck to their win conditions, especially when the power spikes game. This time they can do the same. Folks coming oh. in from 15 once more, Tack. forcing the disengage of Tap, and it's gonna be taken down. First blood by ONG, and Juju has to disengage, has the healing, um, healing, of course, of the Honey yeah. Flute. But has lost the support already. Yeah. Last of our Juju is a bit of a danger Ooh. as well. Ooh, the damage! Again, getting pressured here by Trace Esports. The 15, though, is doing a really good job so far. Tak gonna be zoning everyone away. Ooh. The follow us there by Wave as well, forcing the charge. But the assaulted battery to just chase down is a little too much! He dies! The shield coming in from in, and it's just much better! Backline is he gonna be breached there by SMK. Is he gonna be flashing in? Looks like he's not gonna be pursuing Yusa for this meantime. And Trace Esports, zero. That's how great Trace Esports is. It's a great move that we're seeing now, oh. an investment into the Dragon here by Inyan. They're also interrupting. Wawa gonna be going in. White Cat as well, dealing the damage here onto Yosa, still able to flash away towards the pit. And now the Herald is not gonna be stolen here. Trace Esports still the one to get it. Wawa's gonna be flashing out of the pit as well. Trace Esports lost a couple just to secure that Herald. And OMG still applying those pressure. Yeah, OMG definitely up uh, with OMG not in a good position. White Cat. Oh no! Yosa found it opening this time around. He was sick from being bullied a while ago by this Renekton. Just like in the previous fight. He finally got oh, his revenge. And now Trace Esports are not at all pulling the punches. They're willing to leave a dent over the faces here of OMG this time around. Establishing control over this dragon. They actually thought that OMG already was able to secure this dragon. But now Trace Esports is the one to secure it. It's a, looking to be a bad sign. The objective have been secured by Trace Esports. Looking for more. The charge is going to be there as well. Follow the Forge God here onto the back line as drill. Actually, Juju is being the one oh. to be dished out with it's a damage. Alton Breaker, Season of has been used as well. Tak going to be disengaging. Yusa not here just yet. The Shen O15 having the confidence to go in. Great Feather Storm to just disengage and dodge out the taunt. And Yen's just going to be walking away. Yeah. Inyan also using his own ultimate to cancel out the ultimate, but Juju! Oh, that that. Going to this replay right here, it's gonna be a 1v1 between SMK and Li Sao. I think SMK was able to just. This is an overcommit right here from, from Li Sao against SMK, so and he was on the. denying the pressure, the crash down towards turret. And Wab as well gonna be initiated, Shuriken gonna be connecting as well. The kill should be there! Not really onto the best champion, it's Tak that got it with the yeah, I, I, well, like, uh, Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, yeah. And I, I actually was saying, Tak, are you gonna go for Justin? Are you gonna get a kill? And he did, and actually another one. Because why not? Stand United gonna be used this time around though to help out SMK. And look at the sustained durability of this Blackbird this time around. You said still gonna be committing, still is mm. not enough. And the SNL 15 is the one to get the kill with SMK living. Yeah. Essigway was able to get away with a sliver of Our attempt to take this dragon. Oh no, White Cat. Note, Wave was gonna be in the top lane. Oh. And that's not really the best sign coming in from, from Trace Esports. Not really the best focus. And now Inya's just gonna be joining after using the Sand United. They are able to give the damage, give the kill towards 15 as well. Better go. Not really the best target. Inya's just gonna be loving any sort of auto attack that they do towards him. The charge is also there by Wawa. Followed up by the rest of the damage here of OMG. They're willing to fight. They want to fight. Yusa is trying to walk away. Has the shroud. 
out as well to just hide. But gets charged up, gets knocked up. Heroes Entrance is gonna be used here, but not really to help out. Trace Esports unfortunately got killed instead, and OMG are just getting this Baron now. Yeah, OMG in a great position right here, securing the Baron. This might just be the lead that they're looking for to be able to pilot this composition to the 11 to 2, and they're doing it against the best, one of the best team right now in the world, in the wide of the game, Yosa just deleted! In time before they actually were Ooh. able to delete him, but it was a great follow-up here with the thought as well of the Shadow of Indian. Now Juju and the rest of Trace Esports have looked to walk away. Great interruption here onto the backline here of OMG. Still, is not going to be enough for Trace Esports to fully come back here in this game. Dominus Stasis is going to be used by Wildcat. Still is able to walk away. But the Slice and Dice inhibitor tower going to be falling down as well by Trace Esports. And OMG just having such clean executions here. Away, looks like they are just going to be giving this away. Yeah, they are giving this away. Baron... There's so much, but what is it going to be in exchange? It's going to be the Elder right now. Yes, Baron's been picked up by OMG, but Elder tried to meet it with Trace Esports. That has a bigger responsibility to interrupt. This response is going to be used. Denied, actually. They are going to be entering onto the pit. Yusa is in a lot of trouble this time around. Trace Esports, low HP. And OMG is willing to turn. Juju is going to be in the back line trying to use the Feather Storm, but still is going to be denied. Elder Dragon stolen by OMG. And Trace Esports is wiped on the floors. It's a clean ace by OMG. And possibly a clean close as well. Yeah, they're, they're just going for the wave in the bot side, but it does fall down. OMG able to close things out, able to force a game 3 against Trace Esports. We have been wanting this win for OMG. They have been wanting it as well. Has been a big pressure for this team. But they're one step towards defeating Trace Esports. For the composition of, of Trace Esports, they do need yeah. a champion that is really good at split push, able to pop uh, tanks. Especially as we see three tanks already on the side of OMG. So having that pure will still retain here in this tournament and will still have a chance. Can be used in game three as well. But Trace Esports responding accordingly already. Investing a couple of members on their side towards the top side. Mm. They spot out Indian instead and will be forcing out the onslaught of chance just to be able to escape, but will not be able to as Lisa picks up the kill. First blood by Trace Esports. Yeah, first blood, but I don't think it's stopping yet. Just a sponge for the disengage, a flash by SMK to secure, should have toss as well, 5 point strike. And Wave Bus is gonna be the next target, Ignite the King, and the answer back by OMG is just much better. Yeah, OMG answered with 2 kills compared to the 1. Does take it down, Face Esports though, might be at the risk of many plates from this tower in the top lane. Oh to no. Be taken down, that's gonna be here, preventing. Field of the Dawn is going to be used, flash away as well, because 15 is going to be here flashing in to chase him down. Great denial as well with the Justice Punch, just to allow them to pick up the kill and give it towards 15. Yeah, they really want flanking that. around. I believe it's just going to be the ultimate on SMK. As soon as he sees on Vision, we'll be able to be jump right here. And the, that's the one-two punch that we do see but a lot. They have from... double executing damage from, oh, the, Inyan. from the Garen. Corner time round is going to be obliterated by Inyan. Absolutely nothing that Pack can actually do to protect him right now. And four people just diving under the tower flawlessly as well to take the kill and take the tower as well. Top side is going to be initiated. Answer back here by Trace Esports. It's a great movement. They should be able to take this tower as well just to answer OMG's intent in the bottom lane. Yeah, great answer right there. So irritating to put down the HP threshold much better for the executive with Devastion just yet. God of War should give us on to two. Ooh. Great knob coming in. Follow up as well by SMK. Juju still going to be walking away. OMG just shoving them out so that they can have better position here into the Infernal Dragon. And again, Tracy Sports, they want to secure this for the stole point. The charge is going to be there as well. Towards stack still going in with the knockoff. Justice Punch is going to be his white cat going to be initiated here by Weipa. Still great damage coming in here from OMG. They managed to take Weipa already. That as well going to be the next target here for Tracy Sports. Still trying to fight back. You're just going to be obliterated in an instant. And the Infernal Giant is still going to be taken here by OMG. Lisa running for the high heels but will not be allowed to escape. But it is so true. We're seeing such a great development coming from OMG. On some shadow squad of the board guard. Gonna be a Juju's gonna be obliterated in an instant. Spin to win here by the Gan, of course. To deal the damage here onto the back line as Lisa is just trying desperately to walk away. Better storm gonna be by 15 as well. And getting the unhit to the members of Trace Esports. It's everything being taken here by OMG in a complete execution as well towards Trace Esports. Three members picked off with no answers just in time for the Baron. Yeah, that's that's just a disaster for Trace Esports. They lost any bit of control they have on the map, losing three members and also the Baron being secured right here by OMG. They can't siege up these turrets. There's gonna be one top gimme turret in the top side. I believe it's gonna be they can siege up these turrets. Top side and mid lane. 
are getting a bit low. Oh, White, White Cat is the only one alone, so that might be where Ooh. Eastward looks to get. A solemn battery grand challenge is gonna be your sword is gonna be dropped. Also, the is there to answer back as well. Four versus five. Let's see if OMG can actually fight back. Gargoyle to stall and endure so much of that damage. We see the respect by Trace Esports. Even if they have the numbers advantage, they have to walk off. Yeah, because they don't have as much damage right now that OMG can do here. Corn is a bit uh, overextended, but still, Cassidin has a lot of jumps. We'll see if he can be got called out here. Call of War God gonna be so ready, but no longer needed. As Inyan had the damage to pin down the Cassidy of course. Oh God. Chase Esports. Oh no, on the brink of destruction. SMK got oh, the only They now get to spin his position. Stalls with his only as hourglass to be able to be safe, but still gonna get killed. There's major damage right now. Made him made it here for OMG, but still are, get, are they gonna be fighting back? Chase Esports Stamina are gonna be creating this couple of members being picked off by OMG still they continue to 515 is dealing massive damage here White Cat as well gonna be helping out silencing some of the members here of Place Esports Stamper sitting under the tower they're not scared at all they know they have the leverage it's only the last remaining member wave of Fetterstorm gonna be on the other way but still not gonna matter here for OMG because they can just focus on the tower get another inhibitor here Proc the GA may be here off Weba so that they can turn onto the next inhibitor tower here into the mid lane to open up the base fully. But they don't care. They want to post onto the nexus. They want to end Done. this game, end the misery, end the eighth series. Lose Drake and finally secure not only just the victory, but a chance here in this tournament for the playoffs and win against one of the best teams right now in the tournament, Tracy Sports. What a way for OMG to break their lose streak, and that is to beat. Trace Esports, the second best team we have right now in the league. Probably the be second best team out right now we have in the world. This just shows OMG are still not out. They're still not done. Their perseverance, the strength of this team is showing here. And 